up to the Labrooks World Championship at Alexandra Palace. I interviewed Phil Taylor and this is part three. Well, we are in, in Wolverhampton and, and you know another major can be under your belt this year. You could actually clean up every single major oh. this year. Uh, your first round game, 112 average, which is a record for this tournament. Is it pleasing when you, you see other players and, and I'm one of the commentators and we have to say what's on the TV and we say, oh, he's got a chance, he's got a chance. You know, liven it up for TV, and then you come in with a sucker punch and 112 average, and you just kind of go, "Do you know what, guys? This is the benchmark now." I Do you like now, setting yeah. that benchmark? For myself, not so much for them. It's, it's a challenge for myself to get better. If I can get better, and I will, um, and I keep trying different things, you know. So I just, just keep doing what I'm doing and keep pushing forward because um, the players are getting better, you know. And and, and I, I did 112 average on Stewart because I respect him. As a player, you know, he's gone through a great field to qualify. Mm. That's like winning a world championship, just to qualify for this. And uh, the, lad, the lad's a good player, so I'm going to give him, well, I always do anyway. I'll give him the best of respect. Well, after this one, obviously, the Players' Championship. Um, and if you win this one, and then the Players' Championship, you literally have cleaned up this... Except for the Premier League. Premier League, yeah. Premier League. Oh, yeah, of course, well, I forgot about Should the Should have won League. that. <laughs> I can't believe I lost that one. Well, that uh, that one through two was was quite a special Brilliant. shot when you left four. Brilliant, and yeah. I got him there as well. You had, yeah, I, had to, I was backstage. Watching. But I, I missed, I missed a few doubles. I yeah. missed a few wires, and it was it was a great game, great boom game. You know, when you lose them games, all right, you're gutted, but it's not the you know it shows you that you're playing well. Yeah, and that's where Dave should realise. You know, he's played brilliant all week in Ireland. Take it as a plus. Yeah, I mean now we've started up the youth and the challenge tour. I get asked a lot in my capacity now of uh, what people should do and um, you know explain to us I mean you don't look to the future you only look what's happening now you're only as good as your last game yeah. or your next game so do you do you go through a game right I can only throw one dart at a time so this dart I, that's the only thing I want to worry about yeah. if I hit a bad Every score dart. if I hit a bad score well that's history do you and that's your mindset because yeah there's nothing you can do that's right Yeah. I saw, I saw Tiger Woods say that once I've hit a bad shot so well you know, you can do another 400 good shots. Mm. So if you can, ignore it. It does do your head in sometimes, and you miss three dart at, at a double, and they go out. That does do your crust in, and, and it might take you a couple of legs just to get out of your mind, you know, because it makes you angry. Uh, but no, I don't dwell on them anymore. For the future, so we're talking next year now, will you slow down a bit? Will you say yes. knock, knock a lot of the tour events on the head and just play the major TV event? Of course, we've got this Masters series, Mm. Um, you know, you won in Australia, and that was a lovely trip. Oh, I was fortunate to be there. Mm. You know, will you? So you'll cut down on all them, so you can enjoy them trips a bit more. Got to, got to now. You know, I'm too old for all that now. I can't do it. You know, they're asking me just about Barnsley. You know, will I be here this week? Barnsley next week? Minor the next week? No, can't do that anymore. You know, it's too much for me. Uh, so I'm going to sit down with Barry, probably in December, and go through next year's diary. Even now, without doing one exhibition, which I don't do that many anyway, it's full. Yeah. The tournaments, you know, so we've got to pick and choose a little bit more now when I can have a little bit more quality time. Because at the end of the day, I've got a family, I've got grandkids that I want to see. You know, I don't, I've missed my own kids growing up, really, you know, so I don't want to miss them. Yeah, I understand that. I mean, yeah, I've, 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 got, I've got my first grandchild and it's very different now. I'm, I'm different because I don't play anymore. Mm. Um, but it, it's it's been quite a, a, a roller coaster ride, hasn't it? From you know, say, '88 when I first met you, and then when we first probably both got in the game mm. seriously with Dennis, and then all of a sudden we get chucked into this dispute with the BDO, and you know, 20 years down the road, and all of a sudden we're a multi-million pound business. Mm. We both own shares in the company. Mm. <clears throat> you know, we're still heavily involved, although you're still playing. You know, on the other side of things. I mean, how do you see the game going from here, Phil? Do you see it still improving, 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 and perhaps... I mean, I've always had the, the, the insight of, or the foresight of saying, yeah, I think yeah. I want to, want to go like the golf, we'll have a sunshine tour, we'll have tournaments all over. Do you, 
in your heart of hearts see that happening? I can see or, it progressing more, yeah. yeah. In the next two or three years, it's going to get bigger. Whether the bubble bursts, I don't know, to be honest with you. I think if the, if the, if, if the DRA address things, stop players from being silly, if they get silly, you know, have a, have a code of conduct like the, like the goal scott, then we can push forward. If not, then you're wasting your time and breath, in my opinion. But I think we're going to go more abroad. Your Malaysia, your Thailand, you know, your China, Canada, America, that type of thing. But the Phil Taylor, the power, still enjoying the game as much as it. you ever did? Yeah, I love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love winning. I love it. I love pissing people off. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've done that for it's a lot job. of years now. People say to me, what's your job? I said, pissing people off. <laughs> people say to me now, you, did you used to play darts? Went, yeah, they go, have you ever played Phil Taylor? I went, yeah. That was the time. He said, did you ever beat him? And Because the, they, they've got you, I think the one thing that, that perhaps you, me knowing you as well as I do, I think the one thing that I, I don't think you've ever realised is that the celebrity status you've actually got and, and the respect that you've no, got from, from other sportsmen. Mm. And when, when I talk to other sports, I know a lot of the golfers, you know, they're always asking me, um, what's in Phil Taylor's head? Because they see you being, out, being able to do it, it may be, it may be so you don't Plenty think about things. Do you think that other players overthink things yes. too much? Yes. You know, Especially Wayne. Wayne Mardell was a big thinker. Yeah. A very clever lad he is, and, and he thought about it too much. It's a simple game, really. I think that's where Aidan Lewis, Dave Chisel, and myself, Michael, have that benefit. We just get up and do it. Yeah. You know, I think if Michael ever sucked back and thought about it, he'd miss. If he thought, well, if I hit this 1-3-2, I'm going to go and win the Premier League, he'd probably miss it. Yeah. He'd just go, dink, 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 and then go, oh, shit, I've won. <laughs> he's what I mean. He's, he's one of them players, and that's how, like, where you've got to do it. It's like a Georgie Bass, you know, Gazzett. You get the ball, they, they know what they're doing. Yeah. You know, you just get on with it. Also, do you think the game's changed now where, where the youngsters are going to have to start looking after themselves a little bit better? 100%. You know, because of the travelling, you need 100%. You know, need to be perhaps a little bit fitter, yep. your diet a little bit better. A lot fitter. A lot of players are putting too much weight on now, you know. So they need to, they need to address this. It is a problem. Especially being on the road every day, you know, it's hard to treat it healthy. But you've got to make an effort and you've got to do it. Yeah. If you want to... It depends, really, how, how much they want to do. Because, again, we're, we're being young and I was the same. You, you don't think it's going to stop. And it can stop like that. You know, something could happen to you, you could have a heart attack or a stroke or something, and it can just go bang, and your whole world's turned upside down. So, yeah, you do. You, do, you need to get back in the gym. This is one of the reasons why I bought the holiday home, because I can live there. I mean, it's a lovely place, and I've got a gymnasium within 100 yards, 200 yards. So I can go every day. I used to go twice a day, do half an hour in the morning and about, about 40 minutes at night. And loved it. Slept like a baby. So, that, again, your rest is important. You know, since I've not been to the gym this last few weeks, travelling, I've not slept it properly. Mm. Before, I couldn't keep my eyes open. <laughs> like. But it's great, yeah, yeah, you need to do that. Well, thanks, Phil. Well, I, I think the, the viewers are going to, who watch this, uh, you know, it's a little bit of an insight. People watch this, do they? They do, yeah. yeah. You're mad. <laughs> it's been a, a, you know, a nice insight into your career, quickly. Well, and next interview, quick. I'll tell the truth. <laughs> not about us, you can't do that. <laughs> anyway, it's been Thank a pleasure, you. Phil. Thanks Thank very you. much, mate. One hour.